When I turned 16, that's when my life for hustling really began. You know, because the dope game, it was like 1986. And the dope game it was hit kind of strong in Detroit. And I remember I had got kicked out of Mumford for fighting and game banging. And they sent me to Cooley. And when I went to Cooley, I ran into like one of the homeboys from the hood that was going there. But he was more of a baller type than, you know, banging. And, you know, he started schooling me on the game or whatever. And, you know, he was the first one I really rolled out with on that tip, you know. And, like, back then, I ain't know how to cook it up. You know, I got some powder from him. And I ain't know what to do with it, so I called him and he told me how to cook it up on the phone, you know, with like a baby uh, jar, baby food jar and some baking soda, you know, and whipping it up, you know what I'm saying? So I learned how to cook, basically like listening to him tell me how to do it on the telephone. And then, you know, I got out there and I got to hustling. And I ain't had no spot or, or nothing like that or no beeper because this was the thing back then. So I gave all the things like our house number. And they used to call, and I'd go meet them on the corner, and just was cranking on my block Back like in that. Back the day, I had to go for mine, because my pops jumped ship and left my mom to dry. Trying to raise four kids, she had to work two jobs, making enough to pay the bills and put gas in the ride. I used to always fantasize on helping her out with the bills, stacking enough paper to help provide for our meals. Because a gangster fantasy is making it out of the ghetto, so if I plan on making it out, I better beef out my meds. Down to take the risk, I wandered off in the streets Peeping out game and taking it in as I seen it And if I slip and fell short, I chalked up my loss The name of the game is keep hustling, no matter the cost Finally got to hang and win and hit me a lick 400 exact, just enough for a brick Called my homie Wally to put me down with a bag He came through, dropped it off and swooped up his cash When I finally opened it up I saw a pot and I rock Didn't know how to cook at that time So I was definitely shocked Picked up the telephone And gave my homie a call As he kicked me in structs I learned to cook by phone Finally got it done I had to chop some blocks Find some clientele And set up shop Once I did that I proceeded to mob Flipped my shit kinda quick Went back and caught me an out. It wasn't long for I had paper to spend 16 years old, ride shotgun in the beans And all the big timers claim they like my style Cause I didn't take shorts and I was down the ride See niggas will try your ass just to see where you at So it's best to be solo and roll with your gap And that's why a nigga mob alone in this game Cause these bust ass niggas want the bitches and fame And it's a shame cause they end up dead on their ass Broke it in a motherfucker stuck in the past and me and my homeboy Jason, you know, we went up there in Kalamazoo and did our thing up there. And then we ended up moving to Jackson and getting money in Jackson for a little while. And from there, I ran into a, a dude named Click who became like my right hand man. And you know, me and Click, we partnered up and we went from from Jackson to Lance. And when we went to Lansing, the money was so good in Lansing. That's basically like what put us on our feet. Because we was doing like $4,000 a day in Lansing just on the strip. And, you know, where we was at, you could see like the the capital from the corner we sold dope on. You know what I'm saying? You see all the politicians driving up and down the street. And we was right out there. We used to hang out in, at a, a, a pool club called Morocco. And be out there, you know, slanging out there Moroccos. And, you know, we bonded with all the Lansing niggas, you know, and, and was getting money with them. And then I went from Lansing back up to Kalamazoo. But I, not, this time I was with my homeboy, Boo Bassett. You know, we went up to Kalamazoo, started doing our thing. And we had like a crew of females, you know, Mary, Natha, Carrie, Trina. You know, we had like a whole little crew of females out there hustling, getting money. You know what I'm saying? We were doing our thing. And from Kalamazoo, then I started going to Ypsilanti. And, you know, fucking around Ypsilanti with my man J to the D. He was the one going up to Ypsilanti with me. We putting it down in Forest North, on the Alf, you know, up in the projects. And getting our bread up in Ypsilanti. And then from Ypsilanti, I came back to Detroit. 
this when I went over there to bright more and started doing my thing and bright more, you know, and getting this money. Now, you know, I know people like to throw numbers out and say, well, I was doing this and I was doing that, but I don't really want to throw no numbers out, you know what I'm saying, because it's too much involved when you get to talk about figures. But just know, you know, we was doing our thing, getting that bread, and you know, me and my man click. If you from South Mile, you from the West Side, you already know that when we was doing our thing, you would have known if you wasn't fucking with us. You know what I'm saying? And we did our thing and got our money. And you know, rest in peace to the homie click. And you know, and that's about it on that, you know. I'm all about my money, homie. Yeah. That's how I live. Real niggas all on my team. Yeah. This shit is real. Get money every day. That's what I do. Old school niggas getting paid. Yeah. But you acting new. Cop the whip, now I'm riding good. Got that work out in 